Thank you very much. And uh, it's a pleasure uh, being here with um, this lovely lady on this um, lovely morning. And uh, just trying to, you know, uh, have a chit chat with you, you yeah. know, on what you do and um, uh, your gains and milestones. So let's start basically by you introducing yourself. Um, my name is Masi. Masi is a business lady. Um, I'm also a director. I'm a mother of two. Yeah, that's me. Mm -hmm. yeah. So in uh, Tamka, yes. uh, who are you in Tamka? Uh, in Tamka, I'm a worker mm -hmm. and I'm also a director. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, so let's start first by just trying to understand uh, Tamka and uh, what exactly Tamka is. Uh, Tamka Services Limited is a security company which was started by me mm -hmm. because I had uh, the ambition and uh, a heart to do the work. That's why I started Tamka Services Limited as a security company. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, Tamka Services Limited uh, is a security company that yes. basically offers security services. Uh, what is your reach? Let's start from there. What is your reach? How far do you, you know, offer your services? Uh, right now we are countrywide, we are in, uh, within Nairobi, um, Nakuru, Naivasha, and we are planning to go more far, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. yeah. So, you're, you're, so probably in the next few years then we should have Tamka services across the country, yeah. in Mbasa, yeah. in Londiani, in <laughs> <laughs> maybe Everyone. in Wajir and Garissa. Yeah, also. even in Wajir, uh -huh. yes. Okay, yeah. uh, taking into consideration that this is um, a very, you know, you know, security is something a, a bit, um, you know, tight and up close. How is it uh, working out for you as a lady first? Uh, the industry is uh, very tough. That's uh, the reality. And uh, we go through a lot of challenges. First, when you go for tendering, a lot of people are asking, uh, this is a woman doing security. And uh, if you have a heart of doing something, an ambition of doing it, you can deliver. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, you know, how did it come about? Did you just wake up one day and thought, ah, I want to start a security company? Did you see that there is need, there is an opening? Or you're just like any other investor, like, let me just put my money somewhere? No, it wasn't like that. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to be in a the military there before. Mm -hmm. uh, many times my dad has chased me away from it. And, oh, so uh, you wanted to be... Yeah, <laughs> I just wanted to be like that traffic standing on the road, uh -huh. doing some uh, instruction. Uh -huh. I really would like to command, mm -hmm. doing commanding things. Mm -hmm. But uh, one day I said, I think I can start my own security company. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, and be your own car soldier. Yeah. You know the way we meet to know Itanga, Niaje soldier, so... Yeah, <laughs> just not not just a soldier. Uh -huh. I just wanted to have a qualified uh -huh. soldiers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And talking about qualified and qualifications, yes. how do you pick your staff and so that to ensure that they're different from any other uh, soldier per se? Uh, most of my soldiers, the soldiers I have right now, mm -hmm. that's uh, they are being called guard. Mm -hmm. They apply for jobs mm -hmm. like any other jobs. Mm -hmm. But they must, they must be from four levers. So all of them are from four yeah, levers? Yeah, all is, of them that are from four levers. That is a qualification that Even I have those who have achieve. masters and degrees. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, and I pick my leaders through mm -hmm. those people mm -hmm. who have been working with us. Also, the, like the supervisors, like the people who, who now are taking leadership in your company, yeah. they're not just from four levers, they have other qualifications Yes, too. we have other qualifications. Mm -hmm. I have a, a supervisor who is an accountant. Mm -hmm. I have uh, a secretary who has uh, done her secretary course mm -hmm. and is still studying. Mm -hmm. All of them. I've tried to make sure they have gone back to school. Mm -hmm. All of them. Going through, uh, when I was passing, just checking through your, um, your office, yeah. I noticed that um, you have a, actually a, a designated place for training. Yes. So, what does the training entail? How do you train your people? Uh, we have a training instructor mm -hmm. uh, who has gone through teaching by me because mm -hmm. I did criminology mm -hmm. and I know about security mm -hmm. itself. So the person who is in charge of the training is a training officer whom I've trained 
and uh, those people who are in classes, they need to know practical and also theory. Mm -hmm. If you could have come early enough, you could have seen the way they are doing it, mm -hmm. and uh, there's a clip for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, also theory, because mm -hmm. they know how they should know how to respond to people, they should know how to handle people, mm -hmm. and they should know how to write mm -hmm. in case of anything. I, I also noticed one very unique thing in your office, like you have a peer officer. The biggest challenge with most uh, security guards is PR. Most of them don't have people relations, public relations. They don't know how to interact with people. That's why unapata watu mtani unasema masoja unakuanga na madharau ama na ujeuri. So how are you trying, how does the PR officer work towards overcoming that challenge? Uh, for example, maybe you can get a problem in one of the assignments or maybe one of the clients is complaining about one of the supervisors or one of the guards. The PR always visit them mm -hmm. and we do that monthly mm -hmm. it needs to go no welfare of the uh, of the guard mm -hmm. because we also want to know welfare of their families because mm -hmm. sometimes you get a guard can come to work he has his uh, marriage issue, issue and then you know, I'm suffering from this and this and mm -hmm. this now that's why we had a we have a peer mm -hmm. who is going to deal with such issues so that I cannot be overloaded by mm -hmm. those claims okay yeah. uh, the other thing is um, what are some of the challenges that uh, you know you face as a player in this uh, industry uh, most of the people are intimidate security mm -hmm. mostly guards mm -hmm. they call them watchmen mm -hmm. But watchmen are those people who have, not gone. <laughs> have not gone through training. <laughs> but mine, they have gone through training. Ata masai ni wochi. Yeah. <laughs> but na mine are guards and cadets. Cadets are ladies uh -huh. and guards are men. Uh -huh. And uh, the challenge we face sometimes, uh, maybe there's some rules that uh -huh. they have been put in uh, the places that uh -huh. we are guarding. Uh -huh. Like when we are, the place, like a mall. Uh -huh. A mall hawker cannot come in mm -hmm. because already the place has everything. Mm -hmm. You see, and then you see an Tukanwa mm -hmm. or abuse uh, mm -hmm. languages that we are mm -hmm. getting. Mm -hmm. But all in all, we need to know how to handle these people. Mm -hmm. First, I've taught my people how to understand anybody else, mm -hmm. depending with their career, depending with their tribe, depending with where they come from. Mm -hmm. All of them, they are human beings. Mm -hmm. And we should know how to, to handle them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know uh, the other thing that I would like to ask you as pertains to, to your work is basically how do you handle um, you know, cases of um, indiscipline, you know, how do you handle cases of um, theft or, uh, or cases of um, basically wrongdoing uh, that is committed by your guards and cadets. <laughs> now, first about discipline, mm -hmm. uh, we have disciplinary uh, officer. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you are being handled with a disciplinary officer and your claim become more worse, they will forward you to me. When you are being forward to me, I'll know how to deal with you. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. About claims, mm -hmm. uh, we have insurance cover. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, if there's something has happened to one of our clients, mm -hmm. uh, the insurance people will come to assess the place. Mm -hmm. uh, we always say, if there's a brokerage somewhere, mm -hmm. don't touch that place. Because the police will come to assess. We work one, uh, hand in hand with police. Mm -hmm. Number two, they'll get a report from insurance. Mm -hmm. If it's something that was on our side, the mm -hmm. problem will, will be on our side. Mm -hmm. The insurance cover will, we'll take, will care. take care of it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, as we almost wind up this interview, there are a few things that um, uh, people will want to know, especially about Tamco. Um, one is um, how do people like you know join? Uh, do you guys advertise when there are opportunities? And uh, the other thing that probably people will want to know is um, how did you even decide on the uniforms? How I mean, they're really unique. How did you uh, go about that? about creative mm -hmm. uh, uh, creative of uh, uniform mm -hmm. or design of the uniform mm -hmm. i always sit down and do it myself because mm -hmm. i do my own things mm -hmm. i'm that woman who can go get it yeah and i've done my own uniform mm -hmm. i've done my own design i did my own uh, logo mm -hmm. and all those things mm -hmm. 
and uh, sometimes I ask from my friends even you mm-hmm. about how do you see this how can this appear how will mm-hmm. this appear mm-hmm. and uh, finally I come up with a good thing mm-hmm. and uh, as you'll see in the photos mm-hmm. uh, that's what we, we are mm-hmm. uh, about the way we advertise ourselves we mm-hmm. do marketing mm-hmm. we, have, we do marketing mm-hmm. personally I do market myself mm-hmm. Uh, about employing people mm-hmm. we also put stickers mm-hmm. yeah we put stickers so that people can see mm-hmm. there's a job somewhere we need mm-hmm. to go for training and then mm-hmm. we train them for all month mm-hmm. they need to come every so morning. so you pick them and then you train them before sending them to us yeah 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 and we also give them practical mm-hmm. they need to go do some uh, practical in some areas mm-hmm. we can send you to a place you see the way you do it you send you somewhere else mm-hmm. you see the way you do it because you know we need to see the way you perform mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yes mm-hmm. Uh, and, and finally uh, having uh, been based here in Rongai um, do you have plans of um, you know moving your headquarters somewhere else or you're just comfortable here and um, operating from here because this is like your main base uh, this is my main base huh? exactly but uh, we are planning to open more branches mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, office is it's you yourself. Mm-hmm. The way you move somewhere else, mm-hmm. like very soon you're going to open a branch in Utawala, mm-hmm. we're going to open another branch in Kitengela mm-hmm. and Naivasha. Mm-hmm. Already we have a, an office in Nakuru. Mm-hmm. And uh, I believe we're going to open more branches. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, what is the future of Tamco uh, Limited? What is the future? Yes! It's going to be the leading security company in this country. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, we can take that to the bank and you know, and say this company yeah. is going to be the number one player yeah. in security. Yeah, the first cause, the first mm-hmm. company mm-hmm. a woman is leading. Well, well, you know, yeah. other companies are <laughs> men leading, <laughs> but this one is a woman. <laughs> yeah. Do you ex- do you plan? Uh, this is off the cuff, but do you plan to like venture into other things? I mean, you just want to stick to security and maybe enhance. You know, start putting CCTV cameras and all that and stuff. And all okay, that. we have a variety of security as mm-hmm. we are doing. I'm sorry, I haven't told you that mm-hmm. we do CCTV. Mm-hmm. We do electric fence, mm-hmm. we do alarm response, mm-hmm. we do guarding mm-hmm. of all types of guarding, we mm-hmm. do bodyguard, mm-hmm. we do events coverage, mm-hmm. all those things. Oh, you also doing. have bodyguard? Yeah. I should come for I mine. can be one of you. <laughs> <laughs> you also put on the uniform? Yeah, I do. Okay. I do. I do put on uniform. Nice. Yeah. Ah. And I love being in uniform, by uh-huh. the way. So when you're in the office, like you're... Yeah, in uniform just yeah, like that. I'm, I'm in uniform uh, like any other person. Uh, okay, yeah. nice. Thank mm-hmm. you very much. Asante Thank you so Sana. much, Ronnie. Thank you very much. I'm happy to I've be here. I've had a conversation. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I've had a conversation with the Masi, the CEO of um, um, Tamka. Tamka. Yes. Oh, Tamka. Yes. Uh, Tamka. 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 Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been wonderful. And um, as you've heard there, all matters security visit Tamka, the offices here in Rongai and you can have you know a wide chat with her and then enjoy the variety of services that they offer. My name is Roncliffe Odit. You can get me on KBC Channel One but for now I'm here at Tamka Tamka Services, services Limited. Limited.